Hello everyone. In this series, I'll be presenting the 40 guard AI driven web security subscription. Here are the 40 guard security services. 40 guard security services are offered as subscriptions. As you can see, the web security subscription is comprised of web and content, secure DNS, and video filtering. This video will specifically be covering web filtering and is the first of three in this series. Why is web security important in today's modern networks? Trends show that the web is still at the very top of attack vectors, especially as web traffic continues to increase in volume. The new workplace is anywhere. Web-enabled attack services are growing every day. Threats are becoming more sophisticated and constantly evolving. There is now ransomware holding your data hostage, and phishing has grown exponentially to become the number one crime, according to the FBI. 40Guard's Web Security Services addresses those problems. Before I talk about web filtering specifically, I need to introduce 40Guard Labs. 40Guard Labs is Fortinet's elite cybersecurity threat intelligence and research organization. It is comprised of over 500 experienced threat hunters, researchers, analysts, engineers, and data scientists. One of the main responsibilities of FortiGuard Labs is having visibility of the threat landscape by gathering and analyzing data. How does FortiGuard Labs gather this data? The first way is through threat hunting and proactive research. FortiGuard Labs has discovered over 1,000 vulnerabilities before they became exploits. Number two, spanning millions of deployments globally, each Fortinet device deployed is a sensor that sends back telemetry data. This gives FortiGuard Labs insight on real world threats that comes from one of the largest and most diverse data sets in the industry. And third is through partnerships. FortiGuard Labs is partnered with other security vendors, government agencies, and law enforcement to battle emerging global security risks. Portagard Labs is even a founding partner of the Cyber Threat Alliance. Portagard Labs then utilizes leading edge machine learning and AI technologies to provide customers with timely and consistently top rated protection and actionable threat intelligence. That threat intelligence is then distributed across Fortinet's security fabric via FortiGuard's security services. We just looked at those services at the very beginning of this video. An important distinction is that FortiGuard's threat intelligence is developed within Fortinet and not purchased from a third party. The protection that it provides has and will continue to evolve with the threat landscape. Now let's take a look at the results. This is FortiGuard Labs by the numbers based on telemetry gathered from over 10 billion real-world events per day. I want to point out the 264,000 malicious website accesses blocked and the 373,000 phishing blocked, both per minute, as they apply to web filtering. 40Guard's cloud-delivered AI-driven web filtering service provides comprehensive threat protection to address a wide variety of threats, including ransomware, credential theft, phishing, and other web-borne attacks. It leverages AI-driven behavioral analysis and threat correlation to block unknown malicious URLs almost immediately with near zero false negatives. The web filtering service leverages threat intelligence produced by FortiGuard Labs and a database of approximately 307 million URLs classified into 90 plus categories to enhance granular web controls and reporting. In addition, the web filtering service supports 70 different languages. With HTTP3 over QUIC, TLS 1.2, and TLS 1.3 support, this analysis extends to encrypted traffic to meet compliance and acceptable usage requirements. It also offers the ability to add exclusion categories, so websites like finance, banking, healthcare, and similar sites containing sensitive information are not monitored, thereby avoiding compliance and regulation challenges.
All web filtering capabilities can be defined based on simple URL, regular expression, or even wildcard parameters. And the final action can be set to exempt, block, allow, or monitor. Fortinet's AI-driven web filtering is the only web filtering service with the years of continuous BB Web Awards certified for security effectiveness by Virus Bulletin. It blocked 97.8% of direct malware downloads and stopped 98.6% of malware served through all tested methods. Protection from malware, phishing URLs, and inappropriate sites are common use cases for web filtering. There are other use cases that are not as well known. Credential phishing prevention is where the FortiGate will block websites when it detects a user has entered their domain credentials onto a public site. Newly malicious URLs are blocked that are freshly discovered by Forti Sandbox. If your organization uses Google services, usage of personal accounts can be blocked and only corporate accounts can have access. Listed there at the bottom is improving employee productivity, and that will take us into our first example. In this first example, let's say in your organization, you don't want users to browse any social media. However, your organization does use Workplace at Facebook or Workplace at Meta, as it's now known for collaboration. The URL for Workplace in this example is fortinet.facebook.com. So we need to make sure that it's accessible. Okay, so I've tried going to a couple of well-known social media websites, and you can see that they're all blocked. Now let's try Workplace, and I'm able to get through. I want to show the configuration and how that was done on the FortiGate GUI. This is the web filter security profile page, and there's my profile for fortinet.facebook.com. Here you can see all the FortiGuard provided categories. And I have the actions set to block for social media. Further down is the URL filter, where I've configured the workplace URL as exempt. The second URL listed there is where some of the elements for fortinet.facebook.com is served from. Also in the static filter, you can enable blocking invalid URLs. For example, the URL contains spaces, or if the website had an SSL cert with an invalid domain name. You can even block newly found malicious URLs that are discovered by 40 Sandbox. The FortiGate does need to be connected to a registered 40 Sandbox for this feature. In the firewall policy page, I've applied the workplace web filter profile to the appropriate firewall policy. Now let's have a look at the logs. You can go to the security events page and access the web filtering logs directly. Here you can see the user, the action, the 40 guard category, the message stating why it was blocked, the web filter profile, and the firewall policy. In this example, I'll show how SSL deep inspection can help with web filtering. You can see that I'm going to the site HTTPS reddit.com and the site is allowed through. Now I'm going to try going to HTTPS reddit.com slash NSFW or not safe for work. And you can see that it was blocked successfully and was classified in the correct category. In the firewall policy page in the Fortinet GUI, you can see that I had the firewall rule named SSL inspection with a deep inspection SSL profile enabled. And we just saw that the not safe for work subreddit was blocked. Now I'll disable the SSL inspection rule and enable the no SSL inspection rule instead right below. And let's try that test again. Okay, here we go. HTTPS reddit.com goes through as expected. 
Let's see what happens with the not safe for work subreddit. It got through unblocked. In the FortiGate logs, we can verify that only the SSL inspection rule with a deep inspection profile configured was able to block the not safe for work subreddit. Deep inspection not only helps in detecting hidden threats, but we also saw that it improves web filtering. Before we move on, I want to show the pre-configured filters that's a feature only available in the desktop FortiGate models. This is a FortiGate 40F. These filters are like movie ratings because it's aimed for instances where the users are mainly children and teenagers. G is all ages admitted and is the strictest. PG-13 is more lenient and R is the most lenient. There's even a custom filter where you can cater it to your needs. These filters make creating the web filter security profile extremely simple and easy in these situations. I wanna show you three tools to help with implementing web filtering. And I'll have the links below in the description. The first is the web filter categories page. This page shows each of the 40 guard categories with its corresponding description. There are even test pages you can click to check if your web filtering is working as you expect it to. When you click on the test page and you don't have the category blocked, it will give you example websites. The next page is the web filter lookup. Here is where you enter in a URL to find out what category FortiGuard has placed it into. And the last page is the web filter classification rating request page. If you have a URL that is classified incorrectly, here's where you can submit a change request. Lastly, I wanna talk about the bundles offered from Fortinet. Some vendors have an overwhelming amount of SKUs, which can then make it confusing and difficult to understand what exactly is being offered. It makes it easy to order the incorrect products if not careful. For the FortiGate, you can see on the presentation slide that the subscriptions can be purchased in bundles or a la carte. Let's say that you're interested in purchasing a FortiGate 60F. Fortinet has just one SKU, which makes it incredibly simple and easy to know exactly what you're getting. That one SKU includes the hardware, the FortiGuard Security Services subscription bundle, and FortiCare support. Okay, that wraps up this presentation, which is the first of three in this series. I hope to see you in the next video where I cover FortiGuard's DNS filtering. Please check out the links below, and thank you for watching.